Welcome, Vigor Warriors. Back with another episode of Vigor Warriors 2. And welcome to the uh, 1% Club again. And I uh, hope you guys are doing a great night. I'm going to do one more tonight, focusing on another great topic that we have in our videos. So uh, we'll get that, delve into that in a second. First, thank you for the subscriptions, the comments, the likes. I think that I get a lot of great questions and information that we talk about within uh, the viewership that we have here, as, long, as well as the classroom types of interactions I have with students. And I teach both college and uh, high school. And so I get a lot of comments from males and females about certain things, and we kind of discuss those. And so I, I bring those a lot to the attention of my viewers here because I think those are very important for uh, trying to become the best version you can. Now on this channel, we have a lot of uh, males, but I also kind of work with a lot of females in different types of ways as well. So the idea that we want to do is kind of focus on providing information that's going to help you become the best person you can become. So in this one, we kind of talking about something that is interesting. Um, it was a question posed to me, and I later kind of did some research and did some videos on this as well and saw some videos on this. And the question on this one is, why are there so many weak males? Let me put my shoe back on it for a second here. Why are there so many weak males? And this is actually uh, one of the things I found was a, a good video with, uh, with the title of The Roommates. And I think that was the name of the people doing it. And I kind of put one of the links below, or at least the, um, the, the name of it below. So you can take a look at it yourself. The idea here is that we are socially conditioned we have been socially conditioned over the last number of years to become weak as males. And this is very apparent when you look at things that we see in our society and how we're grown up, especially as boys. The old days of being like a John Wayne or somebody who is a strong type person is not conditioned. It hasn't been conditioned for a long time. And that's why we yearn for those days and some of us have those type of idols that we go back all the way to the 50s and 60s because we don't see that. We, yes, we do see a, you know, someone like a Arnold Schwarzenegger or a, a Sylvester Stallone, and we still have a few of those out there, um, but you don't see as many of those, and that's part of the problem. And now when you look at a lot of um, superhero types of things, uh, you know, comic book type heroes, things like that, you now you're talking about more and more female characters and ones that are not really male types of characters. You still got your Captain America, you still got your Thor, your Iron Man, um, you know, a lot of those out there that are strong males, but not the way you used to have it. And I think that's the thing that's changed in our society and we need to start getting that back because the imbalance is really killing the male-female relationships and I believe that very strongly. So let's examine this for a second. So when you're a boy, um, as you're young and going through the school system, especially, you're continually giving information that you're not that virile male. Now I know people will complain to me, I'll probably get some people who, who don't like this and basically saying, oh, well, what about when you know, boys are being you know, in front of the class and you know, as kids and, and they get the, the you know, blue toys compared to the pink toys and all that. Well, that's all fine and good, right? And you can look at that if you want to. But I guess the problem I have with a lot of this is that as young males, a lot of times we're given the message now that you're not you know, good enough as a male. You shouldn't be your male, you should be restrictive. And I was growing up, not realizing it, being taught a lot of controlled behaviors, not allowing the male to be the male. And we see this a lot. And so the dumbing down of the male has been occurring since you were in grammar school. And you see that when you have female teachers, a lot of female teachers in the, in the schools, the system you have. A lot of times single parents, you look at that, you don't have a lot, a lot of male role models, especially nowadays. And especially when you have a lot of support and programs or supporting people that have a lot of single, single families. And as much as, as much as that's okay and having better than not having any at all, the problem is you don't have a male role model. And no matter how it is, you cannot be teaching a young boy to be a male if there's no male role models around. They end up not becoming strong males. And this is what happens a lot when you don't have that type of male figure around. 
That male has to be a leader. That person has to be in command. That person has to be the one who's making the choices, right? That's how they are getting respected. That's how people admire them. They're not this beta male that they're growing up with. And I'm not, I'm going to have complete empathy for some of the, the beta males out there that are younger because a lot of them, that's all they know. They don't know they're supposed to be acting a different way because they've been brought up this way. They've been brought up to put women on a pedestal. And that's the worst thing you do. Putting women on a pedestal and just catering to all their needs creates the opposite result. And I've been there. And I've been there in a lot of different ways over the years, guys, and lower self-esteem and not thinking that you're strong enough and being lucky to have a girlfriend or being lucky to have a relationship, those type of things. I was there because this is how young males are taught. And you have to realize that you're in a matrix there. You've always been a matrix. We're all in a matrix in many different ways. <laughs> because what we look at, what we're looking at is not true. And, and as I've been going on this journey, it's becoming more and more clearer to me now that what we have been taught and been forced into is not the way it should be. Okay? And so as we look at going ahead and trying to break this cycle, the biggest thing you can do is stay on your journey. Because then you will get stronger and stronger and not give two you know what about what people think. If you don't care what people think, all of a sudden you become stronger. You also become more of a challenge for other people, especially females. And you become someone people admire and respect. Your opportunities will grow and you will feel a lot more confident as time goes on because you're, 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 you're controlled. Going to the C model, control, confidence, and communication. But the fact of the matter is, you have to realize all this. Realize the conditioning, social conditioning you've been put under. And we see this with all the movements out there, all these things that we talk about. And a lot of times males are afraid to even talk to females. And that is, that's shameful, my friends. You, you should never be afraid. I was there. I know I could say that because it was shameful on my, my behalf. Because I was worried not to have a girlfriend, right? I was worried that somehow I'm less of a man if that happened. But in reality, what, what happened is the opposite. The person who's a strong male don't, doesn't need a girlfriend, doesn't need any of that type of stuff. If they get married, fine, but they're the life. They're the ones that are choosing their own decisions. They're the ones that are leading things. And other people follow that. Or else they're gone. Hit the road, Jack, hit the road. And that's the way you gotta be. You've gotta realize that if people don't fall into what you're doing, then no matter who they are, they should hit the road. But I know from experience that it's not easy to do if you're conditioned in a certain way. And we talk about social conditioning, this happens as you're younger, as you're growing up, all of a sudden you real, you know, people are told that you have to be this prince and you have to treat the princess like the princess. And Disney and all these things have set up all this whole type of scenario in which you're not really being the strong male. You know, the biggest strong male you can see as close as the way it should be is the beauty and the beast, right? We should be the beast, right? And there's nothing wrong with liking the beauty. But here again, you're losing your energy and you're going to go ahead and kind of make that person the center of your life. You're defeating yourself. You're sabotaging yourself. Just because the world tells you, well, the only, the best thing you can do is find a woman and treat her and give her everything you need. There's nothing wrong with giving a person something. I mean, giving is better than receiving. But it has to be something that you feel like doing without getting any sort of ramifications afterwards. You know, and part of the problem is we have this type of society thinking, okay, the only way I can get a girlfriend is to buy her things, do things for all this kind of stuff. And that's becoming a weak male. And this is why we have so many simps out there and beta males. We're being taught this all the time. In the school systems, they're teaching the same thing. And a lot of it is not conscious type behaviors. A lot of it is subconscious types of things. And the males are lost. They don't know how they should act. And a lot of them nowadays, especially as I've seen this in a lot of trends with a lot of young males, are walking away. They're walking away from situations because they rather go on their own, do their own thing, than deal with a lot of that stuff. 
And you know that's that's probably better than what you know what they're doing simp behaviors. But on the other hand, walking away is not really doing a heck of a lot either because now you're not having any kind of any kind of relationships, and the whole purpose we're there for is to reproduce. We're there to create offspring to move the generation forward. But if people are not getting together, that defeats the whole purpose. So that's why when you see these type of things and you realize that it is kind of unfortunate that we're setting in situations where the society is telling us all these messages that you shouldn't be acting this way. You shouldn't be acting like a strong male, right? Always defer to other people. This is BS. This has always been BS. It's taken me a long time to realize it. But you should never defer to other people. You should be your own person. Walk like you're a champion. Walk like you're James Bond. Walk like somebody that you know you're the center of attention. You walk like you're the prize. And that's the way you should be. And I realized that this takes time because your social conditioning is there. You're afraid. You should never be afraid to talk to somebody. You shouldn't be afraid to talk to a woman. I don't care how good looking they are. Because once again, they're only this bag of bones. I joke about it, but only a bag of bones. You should not be afraid of talking to anybody. Now, part of that comes from the fact that you're losing energy. If you get your energy back, all of a sudden you'll feel a lot more confident. And you got the three C's on your side. And so those one percenters who are listening to this know that they got to continue doing this. But as you're taking this to a higher level and you're leveling up, now you need to say what you really mean to say and do what you really mean to do and not become that simp behavior that we see. And we've got to take it one male at a time because what's happening is we're losing a lot of males in this war becoming simps and thinking this is okay. And then struggling to see why the woman is not staying with them because they're going out to some other guy who is acting like that. And these are the kind of lessons you're not learning in school or with a father if they don't have a father. And I see a lot of males who are opting out you know, uh, hopefully they're opting out by just kind of walking away, but some, you know, not opting out by doing that. And they're in deeper stuff and they get health problems and all kinds of other stuff like that because they're not really, they don't know what to do. And I think it's such a shame that they've been conditioned to realize that they're supposed to be somehow lower on a lower level. They're not as strong. And so that's why we look at this whole situation and realize, guys, you need to be the strongest male you can be. And that comes from that fire energy inside of you. That comes from that passion that you have. That comes from the C model that we talk about. And the biggest part of that model is retaining and retention. And the more you can do that, and the more you can get that energy and transmute that energy into things you're doing, you're not going to have any problem at all being that strong male figure. Whether it's a Schwarzenegger, Stallone, James Bond, those type of figures that people will admire you, but you don't care about all that. And that's the key. You're your own man. And that's key. All right. So until next time, guys, we don't want any more weak men out there. No more simps. No more simping behaviors. Let's move ahead and now take control of yourself and act the way a man should act. Till next time, warriors. Battle on.